Um, there's also Doom. Uh, so PR Boom, which is a, a very minimal version of Doom, um, was ported to the ESP32. And, and what's really neat about how Retro Go is structured is like there was a little bit of a hump to get it like running, but once we got it running, um, all the emulators worked. Like once you get one emulator working, the rest of the emulators work because the input and the graphics and the sound all go th- like all that is shared is in fast. one in one file. No, it's a hundred percent. Which is another thing that's kind of neat is um, it doesn't pause nicely, but you can see the speed. Uh, it can run. This is running at one hundred and six percent. So it can it can emulate um, Nintendo, uh, Sega Master System. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Doom at 100%. Um, and it's using one, you know, one core is using the input and maybe even graphics output, and the other one is doing the um, emulation. So it does really, it's really nice when you have an ESP32, which the, the Pico is underneath, um, dual core, 250, 240 megahertz, even though it's got. Uh, PS RAM, which is a little bit slower. Uh, it still has a lot of RAM internally. It has like 500k internal SRAM, um, and we're not using Wi-Fi here, so of course it's you get to use all of that. And then um, you have a ton of flash, and that's how you can have all these emulators uh, loaded in. So yeah, that's that's it. So I got this working. So this is just my first prototype. So there's a little bit more that I want to do. First off, I wasn't sure that the screen would look good enough. I was a little worried, which is why you see there's a large outline here. I was thinking of going with a, a 1.69 inch screen, which is 240 by uh, 280 in case um, it didn't look good. But this looks great. So I think I'm going to actually stick yeah. with um, the small little screen. It's I think it's the smallest, like, near pixel perfect um, or pixel perfect emulator. I, again, you can make... You can make it smaller, but it's not going to be playable, um, whereas it's actually, uh, you know, you could actually uh, play the games and, and read the text and, yeah. um, you know. This is cool. I'm not good at, I'm, I'll say I'm not, I'm not good at Doom, and I'm definitely not good at Doom while looking at a screen that's looking at a screen. But, uh, you know, you can you can play it. Yeah. And, um, you know, as people add more to RetroGo, which is kind of like the nicest emulator out there. Um, also, it could be interesting to see if the S3 gets ported over to uh, run RetroGo. It doesn't have the DAX, but you know, I2S uh, probably would be just as fast. That could be kind of nice because then you don't even need the CP2104. You can make an even smaller Doom player. 